Had all that bad weather yesterday, many folks observed Arbor Day today. It's normally celebrated on the first Friday of March in Tennessee. News Bell's Nick Hill went all across Hamilton County to see how different areas contributed to the natural beauty of the Tennessee Valley. From Soddy Daisy to Lookout Mountain, many in the Tennessee Valley took part in celebrating the ways we can give back to our land. I say all the time Chattanooga is a green city and we're doing a lot of things at the, at the administration to really try to bring that into sharper focus. The city of Chattanooga held their annual Arbor Day event at the Shepherd Community Center. It was planned by the city's tree commission whom Chattanooga Mayor Tim Kelly says he plans to expand. Chattanooga was designated for the 33rd straight year as a tree city by Tree City USA. A city has to meet their four requirements to become a tree city, including having a tree commission, spending at least $2 per capita on urban forestry, having a tree ordinance, and celebrating Arbor Day, which Chattanooga meets all criteria. So all of you here today are contributing to Chattanooga's Tree City Award. If it weren't for you, they wouldn't be recognized. Meanwhile, in Saudi Daisy, over 60 volunteers gathered at their Veterans Park for their second annual Arbor Day event. It was organized by the nonprofit Keep Saudi Daisy Beautiful in conjunction with the city of Saudi Daisy. Volunteers comprised of local students, scouts, and community leaders planting dozens of trees across the park. Last year was our first. We planted 16 trees and we were very encouraged by the community support, so we decided to go bigger this year. So we went from 16 trees to 35 trees this year. We've got more than twice as many volunteers, and uh, it's just been a wonderful experience organizing this for the community. In addition to the tree planting, volunteers were creating a fire pit as well. Stewart says it's just the beginning of big plans for Saudi Daisy. Uh, we hope to expand tree planting in the future. We've got a great partner with the city. There's more uh, parks that the city owns that we'll be targeting for planting uh, in the future. One includes planting trees along uh, Saudi Lake, which is visible from Route 27 when you drive through the community. So that's our target for next year. At the Reflection Riding Nature Center in Arboretum on the side of Lookout Mountain, any EPB customer could come and pick out two trees they could take home with them to plant for free. This is part of the Free Tree Relief Program conducted by both the City of Chattanooga and EPB. There were a thousand trees given away of 10 different species. Officials hope these new trees collect up to 2 million gallons of stormwater a year, easing the burden on the city's drainage system. In Hamilton County, Nick Hill, News 12.